Hello, hello, welcome back. Record Store Day Drop 2 edition uh, 2022. We're on June 18th. Um, right now it's the 16th. But uh, all this stuff is happening in the next two days. And uh, be prepared to line up if that's what you're going to do for uh, some of the great stuff I'm going to show you today coming out on Saturday, and then there's a whole bunch coming out tomorrow, which is uh, June 17th, Friday, so I'm going to go through that stuff first, so you can kind of get an idea of um, what we've been going through. So I have to say that, um, you know, in the past, uh, the record companies have done a pretty good job with not putting too many releases on record store day weekends because they don't really want well they didn't want the competition uh, from each other uh, in other sorts of stores that are not independent stores and it seems like that's sort of gone out the window more in the last couple years and now they see it as an opportunity to since everyone is kinda mobilized and thinking about records why not just put more out so um, that being said uh, I'll try to make this as brief as possible, even though there's a lot to show you. So I'm just going to jump right in. First thing I want to show you, and I have to talk this up because I think that this is one of the best records I've heard this year. Uh, just a personal feeling is The Smile. And it's called A Light for Attracting Attention. Who are The Smile, you say? Well, it's Tom York and Johnny Greenwood of Radiohead with the drummer from Sons of Kemet. It's basically a Radiohead side project. And if you heard this album without knowing what you were listening to, you would have thought it was a long lost Radiohead record. It sort of harkens back to their sound, uh, Hail to the Thief, Amnesiac, uh, In Rainbows, that kind of stuff. Um, maybe a little more intimate sounding, but it definitely has all of uh, their sort of naughty guitar lines, the kind of pillowy keyboards, and then you get like um, extra strings and horns at appropriate sorts of times. A very emotional singing from Tom. I think it's a great album and probably end up on my top 10 at the end of the year. So um, maybe that makes me old school. I don't know. But check that out if you haven't. It's been streaming for a couple of weeks already, so um, of course they decide to release it this weekend when everyone's out. Um, going back a little bit, the Beach Boys Sounds of Summer. This has been out before, but this is a uh, fully remastered edition for the 60th anniversary. Uh, 16 new mixes, updated liner notes and photos. Um, looks a little different, a little more expensive. And they also added ooh, this version, which is a super deluxe sort of uh, box set. Same kind of deal. Um, multiple records here. Uh, six records of Beach Boys highlights. Uh, that's for, like, the serious collector, I think. Um, it ain't cheap. Um, another thing that's sort of for the serious collector uh, is Eric Clapton's Unplugged. This is the... Uh, MoFi edition, uh, Ultra Disc One Step, um, uh, presented on Super Vinyl. Um, I'm sure it sounds stunning, but uh, again, it ain't cheap. And they're all individually numbered on the back. Um, nice, nice box set, and um, a CD box set, not vinyl, is uh, Frank Zappa. This is Erie, Pennsylvania concerts. Um, from 1976, um, so I don't know if you're a fan of Frank, um, there might be a lot of stuff there that were probably bootleg quality at one time and have been sort of cleaned up. It says mastered from the original four-track tapes, um, bonus tracks from some of the tours also. Uh, all right, so... Yeah, um, let's see. Also, it is the 50th anniversary of Ziggy Stardust for David Bowie. And while some of us were sort of hoping we might get an exhaustive box set for that, we've gotten instead Half Speed Master uh, remastered edition of the album. Um, this little OB strip kind of situation here. It's really more just a 
an advertisement. It says, this record was cut on a fully customized late Newman VMS-80 lathe with fully recapped electronics from 192 kilohertz restored masters of the original Trident Studio master tapes with no additional processing on transfer. So uh, they're saying it's pretty much legit. And if you're sort of uh, go for the collector editions, there's the picture disc version of it as well. Uh, they did something similar for uh, Hunky Dory. So hard to believe Ziggy's been 50 years, though. That's crazy, although we don't have Bowie anymore, really. So um, is it? I mean, it's been a long time. New release from The Foles called Life Is Yours. Uh, great band. This is the uh, limited edition white vinyl indie store version. And another indie exclusive uh, Foles piece that they're releasing, Antidotes, which I believe was their first album. Uh, I haven't seen it on vinyl um, ever. I don't think if it has been, it was maybe years and years ago. New album from Rolling Blackout, CF. Again, this is a record that started streaming about six, eight weeks ago. CD came out about a month ago. We're finally getting the vinyl for that. Uh, new Perfume Genius record. Um, he's always interesting. This one's called Ugly Season. And it says, from the collaborative dance project, the sun still burns here. Um interesting guy. He's also featured on the new Yeah Yeah Yeah's single, if you haven't heard that, and uh, that's a great song, and that album comes out at the end of September. Uh, Pete Yorn's Hawaii. This is sort of a uh, self-released, kind of like what he did with that covers album. Um, this has songs called Elizabeth Taylor, and uh, there's another one called Fred and Wilma. Um, anyway, it's, the album's called Hawaii, and it's on limited edition Humu Humu Nuku Nuku Apua'a fish colored vinyl. <laughs> Go figure, that's probably one of the most creative descriptions I've seen of the colored vinyl yet. Uh, Beverly Glenn Copeland, Keyboard Fantasies Reimagined. This was supposed to come out on vinyl a while ago. Uh, it features reworkings by Bonnie Vare and Flock of Dimes, Arca, Blood Orange. Uh, yeah, so if you're not familiar with Beverly Glenn Copeland, very interesting artist. Go check that out if you're into sort of, uh, oh, off the beaten path kind of music that has a little bit of a social message, but it's also sort of new agey and jazzy and um, interesting. Uh, speaking of jazz, Bill Evans Trio 65, uh, the Verve Acoustic Sounds Remastered Edition, uh, audiophile vinyl, mastered from the original analog tapes by top engineers at QRP, and, uh, yeah, Stoughton Printing, uh, you know, they've done such a great job, this series, uh, Acoustic Sounds, and, um, this was supposed to come out originally with Trio 64, which was released back in like October, November. Uh, it was d announced too, and then uh, they're like, it's not coming out until next year because we can't get it made. Uh, we have to pick and choose. So that's why it's taken so long. And uh, ironically, Trio 64 is almost impossible to find now too. So they're gonna have to go back and make some of those. I've been waiting for this, the Summer of Soul soundtrack on vinyl. Uh, it's just a two record set, but you get highlights and the last two songs are the Nina Simone tracks from the movie. Uh, we get Sly and the Family Stone, Abby Lincoln, Herbie Mann, Ray Barreto, Mongo Santa Maria, Gladys Knight, Staple Singers, Edwin Hawkins, B.B. Uh, King, the list goes on, Chambers Brothers. Um, I mean, it deserved an Oscar. I thought Questlove did a great job putting that together with his team, I'm assuming, and uh, great soundtrack, so, and uh, good summer music if you're into soul and st old soul, stuff like that. Uh, Hank Williams Jr. So, <laughs> this album is called Rich White Honky Blues. Don't hate me for saying it, because that's what it's called. 
And uh, but the thing that might be of note is not only is this the indie retail exclusive golden black splatter vinyl edition, but recorded with producer Dan Auerbach in Nashville at Easy Eye Sound Studios. So I think uh, you know expect a fair amount of uh, Dan's sort of sound to kind of seep into this. If you like the Black Keys, uh, he's got a song called "Short Haired Woman." Uh, TV Mama and Jesus Won't You Come By Here. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's not for everybody, but I'm sure he'll have fans. Uh, in the reissue area, real quick, Information Society, Blast from the Past, uh, their debut record. This was their most popular record. Tommy Boy put it out on clear vinyl. Uh, this is the one with what's your what's on your <laughs> what's on your mind pure energy i should know this i love that song and uh yeah a little retro there about 1989 90 right um the look but uh and it also has their cover of abba's lay all your love on me uh walking away and running were a couple other singles a really good album minneapolis it's funny that, you know, Minneapolis, we talk about Prince a lot and the Prince sound. Uh, we talk a lot about, uh, you know, Husker Du and the replacements and that kind of jangle rock sort of scuzzy or punk sound. Uh, and Information Society also from Minneapolis, which was, um, I think they started off more as sort of a goth band and then sort of drifted into, because one of the guys was really into technology they got more into like freestyle music that was coming out of like Miami and stuff like that. So that's where the rhythm element, the very kind of Depeche Mode meets Thompson Twins kind of sound that they had. Anyway, they're still going. Uh, they broke up for a while and uh, the three main guys are, have been back together for a little while now. Another reissue, Carly Rae Jepsen, uh, Kiss. Well, this is the 10th anniversary uh, features Call Me Maybe. Um, some people might want that. Uh, there's also a, a duet with Justin Bieber on here. Um, it's a pretty good pop record. I remember when that came out playing it thinking, you know what, it's not half bad. It's uh, maybe slightly generic at the time, but uh, it had a little more substance than some of what I was hearing coming out of Disney. So, uh, And the last couple things here, poll winners. This actually was a late arrival. It's on that contemporary jazz series that Bernie Grunman's been remastering. Uh, Pole winners Barney Kessel with Shelly Mann and Ray Brown on contemporary. Um, yeah, those were, that's in that series of the Art Pepper releases that came out for Record Store Day and, and just after there. And one thing I wanted to quickly mention was Asia and Asia. I may have mentioned this before. This is a 1983 recording uh, from that band. And the interesting thing about it, which I think I totally blew over last time, was that the singer on here is not John Wetton. It's Greg Lake of Emerson Lake and Palmer. Apparently, John Wetton was having some issues at the time, whether it was drugs or... He was just exhausted or something. I mean, the band was super successful by December of 83. And so uh, Greg Lake stepped in to sing on this. So it's interesting that uh, we have an audio artifact of somebody else singing all of those songs with that band. Uh, that is the Steve Howe uh, band. Okay. Uh, and briefly, I'm going to touch on uh, some of the things that I showed last time, just in case you missed the video. And then I'll get more into the other things. So I'm not going to show everything for Record Store Day. I'm just showing the things that uh, we either have more copies of or I have more of a sort of a, uh, I want to give like a little impact to. And um, just of note, uh, the McCartney and the Wilco CD, hopefully mo more are both coming in the next couple days. So if you don't see them here, don't get too alarmed because they are... Um, supposedly in the works. Uh, Pearl Jam, uh, I mentioned this last time at the end of the last video, Live on Two Legs. Uh, this is their live record from 1998. Uh, 16 tracks from that Yield tour. Um, has some really big hits on it. Daughter, uh, Elderly Woman, um, 
Even Flow, Better Man. It's a pretty good live record. Uh, Prince, I've mentioned. Gold Experience, his best, in my opinion, his best album of the 90s. Uh, it might not have all of his biggest hits, but it does have Most Beautiful Girl in the World, and uh, it's his most rocking and melodic rock album of that era. Jerry Garcia Band, Ragged But Right. Uh, this is a sort of more acoustic, uh, bluegrassy side of Jerry. Um, that, I think, is the first time on vinyl for that. Voivod. I've mentioned this, I believe, Nothing Face is highly sought after, and newly remastered, The Who's It's Hard, this has a bunch of bonus tracks on it, this was the album with Eminence Front and Athena, and uh, it's like a double and half speed mastered at Abbey Road. I'm sorry, I know if this, if this is boring, some of you, you've already seen some of these, Collective Soul, Discipline Breakdown, that's their third record. Um, Sun Signature, I mentioned a lot in the last video. This is Elizabeth Frazier from Cocteau Twins. Her new EP, Five Songs, uh, really her first release in almost 25 years, uh, well, more, I think it's been 26, uh, under her own sort of moniker. Uh, Tangerine Dream, there were two of these, Alpha Centauri, and then Live uh, in Reims Cinema Opera. I mean, it's a good day for Tangerine Dream fans. And then Royal Tenenbaums, the soundtrack for that. Uh, okay, those were things that I'd shown before. Here's some new stuff now. Like I said, the Wilco CD is on the way. Uh, also, there's this Billy Gibbons uh, exclusive edition of Hardware, his album from, what, a year ago? Uh, it's sort of bluesy, bluesy stuff. Um, but it's in this cool, like, tin thing. They don't really do many... CDs for Record Store Day, and um, it seems like fewer that, and uh, not too many of these anymore either, seven inches. Uh, this is the Creedence Clearwater Revival Traveling Band. Um, it's live at the Royal Albert Hall, released on vinyl for the first time. And this is kind of cool too, but we also have seen less of these. Uh, Hailstorm, and this is uh, Back from the Dead and Long Live Rock. And it's uh, in the shape of a tombstone. <laughs> so if you're a Hailstorm fan, that's one to kind of keep an eye out for. Okay, things that I haven't shown yet. Miles Davis Live, 1983. So this is a little later for Miles. Um, it's from the, boot, from the forthcoming series, the Bootleg Series, Volume 7. Uh, forthcoming release. It features uh, John Schofield, Bill Evans... And three other guys that I'm not going to butcher their names. I see Daryl Jones and Al Foster. But uh, anyway, this is sort of later period, Miles. But um, it's, it's from Montreal. Uh, it's probably on the verge of when he went a little more smooth jazz. So, um, but still, it's Miles. <laughs> and you know it's going to be interesting. And with Bill Evans on there. <laughs> yeah. That's sort of like almost a no-brainer there. Big Night, the soundtrack to that movie. Great movie. Classic. Uh, it's cool to see that back in print. It's got Louis Prima, Rosemary Clooney, and stuff like that on clear vinyl. First time on vinyl. Weird, huh? Isn't that weird to think about? Okay, Cali Uchis. Uh, yes, Cali. Looking sort of glisteny there. Um... <laughs> Sin, Sin Miedo, and I'm not going to uh, screw up the Spanish because I didn't take Spanish, I took German. Um, anyway, what can I say about this? I saw her open for Lana Del Rey a few years ago, and she was great. Um, talented, uh, had a great band, um, sort of played up the sexy vibe. Uh, you know, I guess she didn't need to, but, you know, anyway. Uh, Bobby Hamilton Quintet, this Dream Queen looks fascinating, and um, the cover is sort of, a, I think, a misleading maybe, is a black and white cover. Um, it says, spiritual jazz meets spiritual yearning. Pianist and songwriter Bobby Hamilton's magnum opus, his secret, his raw love letter to the music 
that didn't seem to love him back. Bernie Grunman resequenced Bobby's long lost master tape and lacquered this album in an all analog transfer. Extensive liner notes tell Bobby's story of battling for deep jazz in the paranoiac polyester and cocaine 1970s. We hope music fans are ready to dream again. So, well, be on the lookout for that one if you're into kind of um, heady jazz stuff. Uh, more modern, Victor Vaughn. This is actually MF Doom. And I think a lot of people will not necessarily know this from that unless they know this album, Vaudeville Villain. Uh, it's cool seeing it in print on vinyl, and uh, I don't think it's going to be around for very long. So, uh, Gerard Way, Hesitant Alien. Gerard, lead singer of My Chemical Romance. This is his solo record. I think it's been out before, but not on blue vinyl. So, uh, there might be some people looking for that. Peter Gabriel, Live Blood. Well, this is an incredible live release, and I can't say enough good things about it. And yes, he's looking a little older in that shot. This was done, I think, about 10 years ago or so. Uh, limited red vinyl, 3LP, half-speed remaster, includes high-res download code. And uh, this is when, you know, first Peter had done a covers album, um and went out and sort of like got all of the original artists and they kind of flip-flopped each other's versions and they did them with an orchestra. And then he got the idea to do his own works with orchestra and then tour that. And that's what this is. So uh, you get versions at the end of Salisbury Hill in your eyes and don't give up with orchestra. So pretty cool. Um, Ray Charles, Genius Loves Company. So... Um, this is one of Ray's later albums that he did as a duets album. Winner of eight Grammy Awards, including Album of the Year and Record of the Year, double LP, opaque gold vinyl, features duets with Natalie Cole, Elton John, Nora Jones, B.B. King, Gladys Knight, Diana Krall, Michael McDonald, Johnny Mathis, Van Morrison, Willie Nelson, Bonnie Raitt, and James Taylor. That was a very popular record when it came out. So, uh, let's see. Linda Martell's Color Me Country, a uh, black country singer. Um, really, she was bucking the trends at the time, and it's very cool that they're putting this out again. This is a uh, Sun Records has actually put that out. So, uh, Madness, Baggy Trousers, a 12-inch single for that. It's actually more of an EP. It's got six tracks on it. Uh, the Baggy Trousers EP, and that's uh, black vinyl. Let's see, the Sweet Platinum Rare 2. Uh, so if you're a Sweet fan, you might want to pick that up because there's a bunch of sort of rare tracks on there. Barry White, No Limit on Love. Um, highly sought after, sort of like... Um, more rare album for Barry, I think, recorded in 1974. Uh, it says the only Barry White material uh, features a mix of a mix of instrumental orchestral recordings along some exciting and rare vocal cuts. Some of these songs went on to be re-recorded later in Barry White projects as some covers by other prestigious funk and soul acts. So, kind of an interesting piece. And this is, uh, they're individually numbered. This is number 85 of 2,250. So, nice low number. 50 Years of TV's Greatest Hits. This is a cool collection. It's two records. It's got everything from The Little Rascals to Sesame Street. And in the middle, you get Dexter, Six Feet Under, Sex in the City, Mad About You, Home Improvement, Kids in the Hall, Law and Order, Roseanne, The Fall Guy, Full House, Miami Vice, Buffy, The Vampire Slayer. Sort of, they've done things like this before, but I don't remember seeing one that was this updated. Um, most of them sort of stop with like 1985 or 90. Uh, so it's cool getting some of those more recent songs on there. Um, let's see, what else? Just have a couple other things. Freddie Hubbard. Uh, Freddie Hubbard's music is here. 
And this is uh, live at Studio 104, Maison de la Radio, Paris, 1973. Um, one that I need to mention that I think is really cool is the Sweet Relief compilation. Um, this was a tribute to Victoria Williams. Uh, she was suffering from MS at the time, I believe. <coughs> Excuse me. And they needed some funding for her. It was terrible when you're a touring musician and you don't have like really good health insurance or whatever. <clears throat> so this featured tracks from Soul Asylum, Lucinda Williams, Pearl Jam, Buffalo Tom, Michael Penn, Shudder to Think, Lou Reed, Maria McKee, Matthew Sweet, Evan Dando, the Jayhawks, the Waterboys, Giant Sand, and Michelle Shock. And it was a really thoughtful and sort of great uh, fundraising piece for her. <clears throat> cool to see it on vinyl uh, that way. Um, this is interesting. A Record Store Day curated World Party Best Of. Um, <clears throat> it's got eight tracks on it. I wish it had more, but still, if you're a World Party fan, uh, it's got some cool stuff on it and different versions of some songs and some live stuff. Uh, this is great. Paul Butterfield Blues Band. This is a lot of uh, rare and unreleased stuff. First time on vinyl includes previously unreleased tracks. Um, it's a three records, I believe. Yeah, three records. A lot of alternate versions, demos, stuff like that. My Morning Jacket, live. Um, this is live uh, from RCA Studio A. Jim James Acoustic, black vinyl, 45 RPM. Complex, never in the real world. Lucky to be alive in color, regularly scheduled programming, love, 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 and out of range. So this is recent stuff. Love, love, love was on the new uh, My Morning Jacket album. Esther Marrow, Sister Woman. Um, this is interesting. Done by Kraft. It says, on the first, first time on vinyl since 1972. Uh, features an all-star lineup. Brings together jazz, gospel, and R&B influences. All mastered by Kevin Gray at Coherent Audio. Um, yeah. I don't know what else to say about that, but looks very cool. Uh, brand New Heavies. Uh, it's the first album for the brand new Heavies, uh, coming out again, Heavy Rhyme Experience Volume 1. Well, this featured an all-star cast of rappers, too. Gangstar, The Far Side, Main Source, Cool G Rap, on Orange Vinyl. These guys, this was about the most smooth jazz, uh, most jazzy they were. Then as they went along and added, like, India Davenport to the lineup, they got a little more, like, R&B soul. But, um... Yeah, that was a really cool record. All right, and last one here. Go Ahead Punk. Uh, this is a great compilation from, uh, I believe, the 90s, right? Yeah, 90s Punk Factory may reset your musical taste. Nitro Records, cl uh, classic featuring AFI Guttermouth, Jughead's Revenge, The Vandals, and Offspring's cover of Hey Joe, previously exclusive to this compilation. Limited pressing on orange splatter vinyl. Well... If you lived it, you're going to want this, because this was very popular back in the day, I remember. So, all right. Uh, that's all I have time to show. I've shown a lot, um, pushing a half an hour. Thank you all so much for being supportive, following all of this stuff. I know it's a lot. Uh, just enjoy the day, have fun, have a good weekend. I think it's going to be a little more chill than the April Record Store Day, which had two to three times as much stuff as this. So um, this is a little more sort of low-key, kind of like the other drops were. So um, have fun, be safe, and uh, I'll see you Saturday. And if not, wherever you're going to whatever record store, um, I hope you have a good time. All right. Thanks for being supportive of indie record stores. We really appreciate it. And uh, Frank Zappa appreciates it too. God, I love this Funko. All right. See ya. Take care.